let me show you one more thing if i am editing the main geometry which is an extrusion the shell automatically gets updated presently the thickness or the extrusion length is around 166 unit if i am changing the distance or the depth or we can say the extrusion depth to some other dimensions the shell features automatically gets updated so this is one of the feature of the shell command it follows the main parent geometry the next thing under the shell edit definition is the references command in the references command we can find the selected surfaces for the shell in order to create the surface or the shell feature which you are seeing on the screen right now i have utilized three surfaces so basically i have removed three surfaces this was the surface number 1 surface number 2 and surface number 3 say for example i want the surface back in order to get it back i have to simply select the surface which i'm interested to, to get it back i have to press right click and i have to select the remove command by this procedure you can get back the surface which you need not want to delete it or remove it after that we have to press the merit click and the surface is back with us let us see some other features under the edit definition so i'll simply click on the shell i will go to edit definition let me add the shell feature over here or remove the surface now under references you can see another item over here which is named as non default thickness the thickness what you are finding over here or over here is the thickness of the wall which is uniform across the whole geometry it can either be inside or outside say for example i have a unit of 10 outside clear and now i want to alter or i want a non uniform thickness for the surface that means i don't want 10 units to be assigned for this particular surface wall i want some other dimensions to be assigned to it so what do i do for this thing i have to select the non default thickness by simply clicking it and select the desired surface whose thickness you want to alter and after selecting the desired surface you can see that i am getting a drag holder over here with the respective thickness value currently the thickness of the wall is 10 because the overall geometry is having a uniform thickness of 10 units that is outside the wall now i can alter the thickness i can add it as per my requirements say for example i want it to be 80 units now you can observe over here that the thickness of this surface is different in comparison with the other surfaces now if i am wanting to add another non default thickness on any any other surface i have to simply press control and select the surface desired selecting the surface will give me an additional thickness region or a text field with a drag handle i can change the direction i mean i can change the position of the drag handle and increase the thickness as desired one thing to note over here is the direction of the uniform thickness i have created the uniform thickness outside the wall that is the reason i cannot add this non default thickness inside the wall it is not possible for me to add or vary the thickness inside the wall because the major or the first parent thickness is outside the wall let me try to get it inside now the thickness is inside the geometry i can now vary the thickness inside the particular wall it can be a non default value non default in the sense the overall geometry is maintaining the thickness with respect to this bar or this drag handle whereas the surface is having a non uniform or non default thickness similarly the other thickness which i have selected can also be varied inside the wall so this is all about non default thickness let us move on and discuss some other features in the shell command